Hey guys, day one of our 30 day challenge to learn to automate trading strategies enough at least to be able to test them. It's a promise for 30 days. So let's start with day one, the beginning. I'll keep this video short because I don't want to waste your time. So what we will cover today is we'll, introduce, we'll get introduced to MT5, what the trading platform is and where to download it. Then how do we get from there to the coding environment? Then we'll create our first template and then we'll look at key functions and areas within the template. So if you have never used M MT5 ever before, MetaTrader 5, then head to mql5.com and there at the bottom of the page, you will see the trading platforms. Click on that and then you can download it for Windows. Once you have downloaded it, you can then install it. Once you have installed it and you open it, this is what it will look like. It will have all the currency pairs and you can add to it. And this is the pair, this is the portion where you have to navigate. But we're not talking about the MetaTrader today we're going to be talking more about the how to code everything. And this is the button that you see on the top, the IDE button, which is the development environment. And this is what you click to then get to the meta editor where we will be doing all the codings. Once you click it, it will open up a meta editor. And here you will see all of these. The, the meta editor, it comes with a lot of files already, which the MQL developers have developed that we will be using quite a lot in order to do trading operations. Most importantly, we'll be using the one which is trade MQH, but that's for later. Today, we're going to look at how to create a template. All of these expert advisors are created within the folder expert. You can go ahead and open up and create a folder of your own and name it something. I'm going to call it automation journey to match our series name. Once you have the folder, this is going to basically keep all your files in one place. So we go ahead and we click on the new button. And then from all of this, we're going to create an expert advisor. Give it a name. I'll say it day one, the beginning. And once you click next, 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 then you get to this part, which is the opening template of any expert advisor. Now let's look at different sections of it. Anytime you put a double hash in MQL, anything after that MQL treats it as a comment. So it's not a code, it's only a comment because MQL does want to provide us the flexibility to be able to write uh, things that we want to remember later. So wherever you see these grayed out text, with a double hash in front of it, that basically is telling MQL to ignore those lines. So the codes are actually here. These are the functions and we'll look at them. But first I'll remove all of these codes, these, these double hashes, so that we have a clean template and it's easier to visualize. Another thing which I normally do is I bring this back up and I bring this bracket down here as well. I'll do it for all three. This just makes it look a lot neater than where we started. Now, coming back to these sections. So the first section here is about global properties, is about global variables, everything that, that is available to the entire expert advisor. And we'll create a lot of variables here. And as we will progress towards our day 30, you will learn a lot about this section as well. But today, just to know that this is the global section, this is where the EA starts, this is basically where MQL comes and reads what are things which you wanted to know at the beginning. Then comes these functions. There are three functions which come automatically. The first one is on init, which is the initialization function. So on initialization. Then the second one is on deinitialization and then on tick. Now, what does a function mean in MQL? It basically is a structure within which you can write these codes. And this structure is only triggered on certain event. So every code that I'm gonna write here in between this bracket, curly bracket, and this curly bracket is only going to be initialized and run on the event when there is initialization of the EA. Same goes for this one. This is on deinitialization. So when the EA is stopping, all the codes in between these two curly brackets will be run. And then comes the main one, which is the onTick function. And the onTick function, it basically is a tick in MQL or MetaTrader is every time there is new data that comes in. So every time the new data on price comes in, it's called an event, which is tick. And that tick 
then triggers every time that happens all the codes here are going to be triggered so this is the massive part massive body of the ea where we'll be writing most of the codes anyway or this function is run the most in in metatrader this will be run only at the start this will be run only at the end and this is where the bulk of the operations will be done now guys back again to the point that we are only looking at the mql from a perspective of being able to write strategies into codes and then be able to test them I mean, I'll probably come back with a larger series on, on advanced things that you can do in MQL, but what we're currently looking at is only to be able to automate the strategies that we can find on YouTube into codes so that we can test them. The last point on these functions is basically every function is contained within these two curly brackets. So this is the opening of the function and this is the closing of the function. This is the opening of the function and this is the closing of the function. So all of our codes that we want to run on the initialization of the EA will have to be written in between these two curly brackets. Everything that we want to run on the stopping will be run in between or will be written in between these two. And the majority of our trading operations and all the codes related to that are going to be run here. Now, these are the three functions that come already with the template. But you can also go ahead and create functions. So, for example, I can create a function and I can give it any name. For example, check for open positions. So that's the, that's the one that I'm creating. Now it's just convention that it has to be a two brackets open and close. And we'll learn about why that is. And then you open up the curly brackets and then the, uh, you close the curly brackets. So I can write more functions and then I can go ahead and call this function from anywhere either here or here or here the difference between these ones and this one apart from the fact that this one is purple colored and this one is black colored there is a reason for that all the purple colored ones are generic mql functions which are run on events so this is going to be done like we said on initialization on the initialization and on every new tick so these are the functions that are run on events so whenever that event will happen on the chart the system will come here and run that code or that section these are the ones that are not run on events these are separate ones that we are creating for ourselves to keep things simpler and smoother and you will see during the next 30 days and then what I can do is once there is the on tick function has been called because there is a new tick, there is a price change on the chart. So the system is going to come here. It will start running these codes. And then I can call this function by just typing that and saying this. Every code or every line of the code that we write in MQL is followed by colon to tell the MQL that the code has finished here. And now there is the next line. So now when there is a new price that will come onto the chart, the system, the event of the new tick will be triggered. The system will come here to the on tick function. It will start here. The first line it will see is like, okay, check for open positions function is being called. So it will jump to this function and then it will run all the codes here until it comes to the end. And then it will come back here and then it will go and proceed to whatever next code we have it. So I hope this explained today how to how to get to MetaTrader 5, uh, where to download it, how to get to the coding environment. And then we created our first template. And then we looked at the key functions and the areas within the template and what those areas and functions mean. Now I'm going from a perspective of absolute beginner who has no idea about MQL5. So if you have a little bit of an idea already about MQL5, then please bear with us. We'll speed up very quickly. So until next time, guys, I'll come back with the next part where we will start to look into variables and the, 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 the global portion of the template. I want to keep this video short because now with the TikTok age, the, the, the attention span, span is very small. So I don't want to make a, an hour long video which people only watch the first two minutes and then drop off. So until next time, stay safe, trade safe.